morning, everyone. Good morning. And let us begin our liturgy as we continue our observance of Lent in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us now acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty oh God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And let us pray. May the working of your mercy, O Lord, we pray, direct our hearts aright, for without your grace we cannot find favor in your sight. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Jeremiah. I knew their plot because the Lord informed me. At that time you, O Lord, showed me their doings. Yet I, like a trusting lamb led to the slaughter, had not realized that they were hatching plots against me. Let us destroy the tree in its vigor. Let us cut him off from the land of the living so that his name will be spoken no more. But you, O Lord of hosts, O just judge, searcher of mind and heart, let me witness the vengeance you take on them, for to you I have entrusted my cause. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and rescue me, lest I become like the lion's prey, to be torn to pieces with no one to rescue me. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. Do me justice, O Lord, because I am just, and because of the innocence that is mine. Let the malice of the wicked come to an end, but sustain the just, O searcher of heart and soul, O just God. O Lord my God, in you I take refuge. A shield before me is God, who saves the upright of heart. A just judge is God, a God who punishes day by day. O Lord, my God, in you I take refuge. our gospel acclamation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Blessed are they who have kept the word with a generous heart and yield a harvest through perseverance. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Some in the crowd who heard these words of Jesus said, This is truly the prophet. Others said, This is the Christ. But others said, The Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? Does not Scripture say that the Christ will be of David's family and come from Bethlehem, the village where David lived? So a division occurred in the crowd because of him. Some of them even wanted to arrest him, but no one laid hands on him. So the guards went to the chief priests and the Pharisees who asked them, Why did you not bring him? The guards answered, Never before has anyone spoken like this man. So the Pharisees answered him, Have you also been deceived? Have any of the authorities or the Pharisees believed in him? But this crowd, which does not know the law, is a curse. Nicodemus, one of their members, who had come to him earlier, said to him, said to them, Does our law condemn a man before it first hears him and finds out what he is doing? They answered and said to him, You are not from Galilee also, are you? Look and see that no prophet arises from Galilee. Then each went to his own house. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In literature, there is a tool you're often used by writers called dramatic irony. And that term refers to any situation in a book, a play, or a movie in which the audience knows more information than the person speaking. For example, in the play Romeo and Juliet, the audience knows that Juliet is only asleep at the end, but Romeo does not. His mistake leads to tragedy and the audience sees it takes place while knowing the, the, the depth of this error. But there's a deep bit of irony, dramatic irony, also in today's Gospel. The crowd surrounding Christ begin to speak about his identity. Some guess that he is the prophet. Other people assert that Jesus is the Christ. Still others in the crowd use the details of Christ's identity to prove he is not the Christ, saying, the Christ will not come from Galilee, will he? All of us here gathered for Mass know the answers to these questions. We know well that he is the Messiah, the Promised One. We know that, of course, he is, he is who he says he is, raised in Galilee. And as the scripture says, he comes from Bethlehem, having been born there. And so the questions of the crowd are a bit painful and perhaps even angering to those of us with the benefit of the whole picture. Were this simply an exercise in literature, we might simply pay attention to how the narrative unfolds while seeing the crowd act in ignorance. But this is not an exercise in literature. And the dramatic irony which serves its literary purpose also indicates a much more uh, substantial and real-life issue with eternal consequences. The fullness of goodness and truth in the divine person of Jesus, fully human as well, was right in front of their eyes and they could not see it. Instead, a division occurred in the crowd because of him, says the Gospel. Some of them even wanted to arrest him. As Jeremiah prophesied, they were hatching plots against him, hoping to destroy both him and any reference to him, that his name might be spoken no more. We don't know if members of that particular crowd came to recognize Jesus as the Christ, but we do know that their plots fail, that the name of Jesus is a hallowed, hallowed name, and his sacrifice and act of reconciling us to the Father is far more dramatic than any human could conceive. We who are part of this great salvation story have been given the fullness of revelation and Jesus Christ. And there is no irony in that. We now offer to the Lord our prayers this day. 
For the church, may the Lord fortify and sustain her in her prophetic witness to the gospel. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those in public authority, may the Holy Spirit grant them discerning hearts to know his will. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people who are isolated by illness or age, may the grace of God's presence among them bring them consolation and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For ourselves and our families and our loved ones, may the opportunity of the Holy Spirit upon us conform us even more to the heart and mind of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for the dead, may all who have died in the light of faith be welcomed into everlasting joy found in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pause now for our special petitions. And even at home, you can just say them out loud to yourself or to, to God and to the family. So others may hear or type them in. A special prayer for Father Paul on his birthday this day. The Lord grant him many blessings of health and wisdom. For these, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And for these and all things we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Our Mass today is being offered for the intention of Andrew Farmas. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become for us our spiritual bread. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. forever. Like the dewfall, 
so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim In your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Jose our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not at our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer to each other the appropriate sign of peace. Mm -hmm. Lamb of God, you, you take, take away the, the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
your communion. Repeat after me. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May your holy gifts purify us, O Lord, we pray, and by their working render us fully pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. And all of you have a blessed day. Just a reminder, our Sunday Masses uh, will be live-streamed this evening, Saturday, the vigil, 5 p.m. in English, 6 p.m. in Spanish. And then they will be available on our website after that to be viewed any time after throughout the weekend. May God bless you.